Hey, Nathan and I saw, looks like Salt Lake Police pulling people out of their, pulling people over out of their jurisdiction again, just down the road. We're just gonna run down here, check in, love our neighbor a little bit, make sure that the harassment, such, such as it is, isn't too much. Officer! So here's the deal. These guys, they belong in this town over here, not this town right here. And what they do is they like, they're bored, so they like to harass people. So they just ignore <laughs> the rules that say they're supposed to be. Officer, you're out of your jurisdiction out here. You're not supposed to be stopping people out here. This is not in your jurisdiction. I want, I don't know how to make myself more clear. You don't stop people out here. Come here, come here. You, come here. Let's talk about it. I want to understand what you guys are doing. I can't hardly hear you. Why don't you come over here and talk, bud? Go on, because you let the person go already. See, when, when I show up, the stops end very quickly. And people are going to say, well, Gavin, you're hostile, you're rude. You know what? Yeah, I'm assertive, not, not rude. There's nothing rude about uh, holding these guys to account and see if he actually comes over. I don't think I've, I've talked to this guy before. In my jurisdiction, there was traffic coming. I could not make a turnaround. So... I don't wait till it was safe. If, turn around and then no, if your lights, that's why, that's why I stopped them. If you lit them up and they were already out of jurisdiction, it's one thing if you were in pursuit. No, if, once you light them up, if you're coming out here to stop people, you're out of your jurisdiction. If you had lit them up and turned right around and they stop 100 yards out of your jurisdiction, sure, that's that's reasonably within the law. What's that? Yeah, but you didn't stop her till out here, officer. Yeah. What's your name or you must be new? Officer Diaz. Are you the new chief? I am not the new chief. Who's the new chief these days? It's interim chief Cox. Cox is chief? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that must be interesting. Okay, so bottom line is, I mean, you guys need to look up the law. I know Cox likes to break this law too because you guys get bored and you like to pull people over out here. I realize that there's not a lot going on in Soap Lake. But how fast was this person going? She was going... 15 over, 14 over. Actually. And how fast did you go to pursue her out here? I went up 55, 60. So you went 15 over, do you see the, the the weirdness here? You went 15 or 20 over to pursue somebody that drove by your town doing 15 or 20 over. That doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't, safe. The speeding happened in my jurisdiction. So you sped coming. Do you I see? Catch up oh, I know, but come on, man. Do you what see are you the- What trying to get out of this? What are you trying to get out of this? I'm trying to get you guys to understand that you, it's not about pulling people over. It's about okay. it's about honoring people yeah. and loving your neighbor and protecting and them. It's not loving them or protecting them. What's that? Who said that we're not loving them protecting? You're not them. loving and protecting by just stopping people because you can and punishing them people. We're not we're not punishing. Every time what's, you write a ticket, you you're punishing. punishing? Well, I'm not, what's, what's your what's your definition of punishing? Well, punishing is putting people in jail when there when there's no uh, victim. You said when you're pulling <laughs> someone over, you're punishing them. How's that punishing them? That's, well, first of all, you're taking, no, they're no, breaking no. a statute for speeding. Okay, okay. And you I broke the it. statute for speeding. Hang on, we're not done yet. No, I'm done. You don't I'm want done. to run I'm me out. over here. I'm out of the jurisdiction according to you. So You're out of my jurisdiction. Okay. You're, I think we're in also, jurisdiction to have a conversation, okay. Diaz. What's your first name? I don't, I don't want I'm to, Gavin, by the way. We already had our conversation. What I'm saying is, I came and, and, and what I'm saying you, is, I look, I want to be nice to you. I'm not. I know. And I want to, here's my honest concern, man. We're all police. We're always out here saying, "Obey, obey, obey!" Over the littlest things. And I'm not here with Sime. don't you see? He's out here with Sime. They know me. Don't you see the, my concern? Let's. I mean, let's step out of being a cop for a moment, just as a normal person. Don't you see a concern with society that it's built around this idea of? I'm out here with Sime. He's trying to give me a lecture here. We do a slight infraction. So you can, you do something that uh, that you say is dangerous. You do something just as dangerous to chase us down and chastise and or write us a ticket for doing that. Right. Do you see the disconnect? How does this justice, how does this protect our communities? I, like I said, I listened to you already. I, I get where you're coming from. I have, I'm not trying to punish anyone. I'm here doing my job. That's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm not. What is your job? No, I'm serious. What's your job? You obviously know it well. No, I'm, I'm asking you, what is your job? I don't think I have to 
answer that to you because apparently... I think it's a very important question. Apparently, what? Apparently, you know what my job is. I know, but do you know what your job is? Okay. What do you, I want to know what you... I, I'm being genuine. I want to know what you think your job is. Gavin, have a good night, okay? I'm I want an answer to my question. Can Can you please step away from Not me? yet. Not till you answer me. I want I'm you to at least... I'll tell you what. You answer my question and we'll let this let it go for now. I'm, I'm done. You, you have... won't you won't tell me. Did you take an oath of the Constitution? Look, I came over here. I give you... I listen, listen to what And you I appreciate that. I do. I, I listen to what you had to say. Well, you're not really listening very well. <laughs> well, okay. We... Well, do you have something you want to say to me? I mean, do you have a counter to my statement? Because if you... Do you have a good argument for what I'm saying? Look, look. If you really want to go... Follow around officers and... I'm not following around an officer, I just saw you down here. And I'm answering some fair questions, asking call, some fair did questions. Did I call you over? I, I work did right I down here, over? so I just saw you. No, I, no I, I came over to check in on my neighbor, make sure everybody thinks oh, going good. Because you guys are operating outside of jurisdiction. Are they your neighbors or what? What's that? Every, everybody's my neighbor. You're my neighbor, man. If you were yeah. hurting on the side of the so road, I would help come, you too. You did not come and check over your neighbor. No, I did. I absolutely did. You just did. came over here to see it's, what I was doing. It's basically absolutely. Doing. I came yeah. to check in and make sure you weren't abusing your authority. I came and talked to you. That's I fine. appreciate that. But what is right. your job? What is his job? What's your job, man? Kevin, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing pretty good. What's your job? Of course, the laws. What are the laws? Depends on which law you're talking about. Okay, but what's the what's the law? If you have to choose between two laws, let's say you have the Constitution and the law of the state or the city, which one do you choose? That's a trick question. It's no, it's a very simple question. Which law is higher? Well, the Constitution is higher law, but the state can make stricter laws than the Constitution. No, if they override the Constitution, which one do you enforce then? Let's say, let's make it simple. Let's say there's a law that says I can't own a gun. Hey, Gavin, if you want to protect the people, why don't you become one of us? Why don't you try to be one of us? Because and, becoming because one know, of you... You know so much of what we're supposed to and not supposed to do. So, uh, right. according to you, you say you're such an intelligent person. I didn't say that. Coming, you said you're that. You're coming across as such an intelligent person. I just try to so know what I'm talking you, about. Why don't you go to, through the academy and join us? Because I don't need to go to the academy to protect people. You don't go, the okay. reason, you go to so, the academy to learn to do what, what right. the police system tells you to do and what the blue line. I don't need an academy to have me help me love my neighbor. Right. And never, you don't either, man. I never said you did it. You, you don't, did. Need, a, you don't I, need an academy to protect people. You look like you want to be a part of this, so why don't you join I us? I just want to be a part of justice. We got okay. political prisoners all, all right. over the country. We got the Hammonds, we got the Bundys. We got people in our own jail okay. here. You guys, when you take part in people who violate the Constitution, when you take part in laws that violate how the Constitution... How was I violating the Constitution? Do you know that a, even a traffic ticket is a violation of the Seventh Amendment? How was I violating my Constitution? How? Did you write a ticket? I'm assuming not. No, I didn't. Okay, that's good. So how did I violate the Constitution? I don't... Well, first of all, well, if it was... That's you came up Hang on. Said, if it was an illegal stop, then it was a violation of the Fourth Amendment. It was an illegal stop. Well, if you were out of jurisdiction, technically it was an illegal stop. All right, Gavin. All right, we talked <laughs> See, right. I mean, we can, we can play that game, but I'm not trying to play that game with you. Oh, yeah, you are. No, no I'm trying what, to get you no to matter, ask... No matter what we say, you're going to contradict something. That's because all you're doing is talking in circles. You're in cognitive dissonance, man. I want you guys to ask yourselves... Serious question. All right, so we're done. What, what do you have to do? We're done. Appreciate it. We're done. I gave you your time to talk. We're done. But you still didn't answer my question. No, no, What's your job? Done. Gavin, we're done. Please. I'm not done. But I, I guess step. I can't stop you from from right, driving away. Step away from my vehicle. All right. Well, we'll talk again later. Okay. Have a good night. You too. He doesn't want to talk about. It. He doesn't want to talk about what his job is. But you know what? Hey, we had a good conversation. Did you hear that? The cox is the chief. The cox is the chief. I had to, I'm sorry. If you guys have seen my other videos, like when, when he ran away from me and then called his, his goons in, you can see that video. Um, you'll know why I laughed when they said cox is the chief now. The bad move up, if you're corrupt and are willing to do what you're told, see the problem is that our, our job's to enforce the law. No. In their mind, the law means whatever their bosses tell them. Their job is to protect people, to defend their rights, the Constitution. Do you have anything to add to this from what you just saw? Uh, no, other than the fact that you do not have to issue a traffic ticket to be in violation of the Fourth and Seventh Amendments. It's a very good point. Because there's no warrant, there's no probable cause, they don't require probable cause for a traffic stop. Well, technically they do, but they claim it's probable cause for a non-criminal activity because they insist that traffic tickets are not criminal which is absurd. You cannot have probable cause for a seizure for a non-criminal activity. So they say it's non-criminal to avoid giving you a trial. Yeah. But in reality, if you resist, they're still going to kill you. Exactly. So this question always pops up. If you want to help people, why don't you join us, right? Why don't you join us? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't the guy in the gang that's attacking people always want you on their side? Why don't I join them? 
because I want to protect justice and law and liberty. If I joined them, I would simply have to submit to my bosses that said, do this or violate that or do this or write a ticket. I don't want to oppress people is why I don't join them. I want justice and freedom and liberty for my fellow man. And so if you want justice and freedom and liberty, you don't join those that are engaged in enforcing corrupt laws. You don't join those that are engaged in protecting terrorist judges and treasonous officials. You stand up, you speak the truth, and you speak out. I'm gonna approach the situation being very assertive and firm to let the officer know that I'm not his subject, right? But at the same time, I want these guys to think about this. Officers, you gotta think about this. You're a member of this blue line or whatever gang it's called this week, right? But in reality, you're going out and you're saying, I'm enforcing what my bosses tell me to because I can. The question needs to be, not am I doing my job, but am I doing right?